IoT is happening now. So I'm going to talk about what happens to humans, what happens to life after IoT. What changes will IoT make in, in, in really the way we do things and, and what we really are? And I'll ground it with examples of research going on in my group at the Media Lab. If you want any more detail, the website is there, uh, or you can shoot me an email, of course. So I always start any talk relating to IoT with, with this picture. Does anybody here know who this is? That's ah, amazing how we forgot him so fast. Uh, this is the guy who really invented IoT. You know, people think it came out of maybe RFID and industrial automation. No, it came out of human-computer interface research at Xerox PARC. You know, Xerox PARC invented many things. We know it for the Ethernet. Uh, we know it for uh, the personal computer, so on and so forth. Uh, but it also invented IoT. This is Mark Weiser. He died all too soon. He saw the beginnings of, of what we're living in now, what we're about to embark on. And uh, he wrote the famous article in Scientific American, uh, 1991, um, about the future of computing, the computer for the 21st century, that really spelled out what IoT uh, is becoming. We call it in our field ubiquitous computing. Uh, that's a name that people are starting to forget. This is pervasive computing, things that think many, many names. IoT wins. But way back when it began, we started talking about it. Wiser was the guy who really anchored the conversation, building many physical demos of Park as well. So I recommend definitely read that article if you, you haven't. Uh, so I'm going to have the talk in, in a few different segments. The first one, probably the biggest one, is on sensors, networking, and what it does to presence. Uh, 